we're glad you're joining us this afternoon for our Christmas program. 2020 has certainly thrown some different uh, ways of doing things at us, and so we're happy that we can uh, put this Christmas program together. It's called a Reimagined Christmas Program, and Lisa, tell us a little bit about the participants. All right, we have 57 youth participating, age preschool through college, and we're just so excited to have so many, either telling the uh, story through script, through scripture, through song or instrument. Uh, so blessed that they share their talents with us, and so blessed to have all of you families who have supported them and kept them connected to all things this past year. So we hope that you sit back and relax and listen to the story as it is told by our youth. Over 2,000 years ago in a city called Nazareth, there was a young woman called Mary. Mary was promised to marry a man named Joseph who lived there too. One day, an angel came from God and talked to Mary. He told Mary that she was going to have a baby. And that baby was to be the Son of God. And then the angel left. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? 
The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One will be born to you and will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Now Joseph wasn't sure what to do when he heard that Mary was going to have a baby. One night, while Joseph was asleep, the angel came to talk to Joseph too. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce, divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded and he took Mary home as his wife. A while later, an emperor in Rome, Caesar Augustus, said that everyone had to go to their hometown to be counted. So Mary and Joseph went to Joseph's hometown of Bethlehem. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Receive 
so many people, in fact, that there was no room for them in the inn. So they stayed in a stable, which is a place where the animals stayed warm and dry. There was a cow there. There was a sheep. There was a sheep's back. There is a chicken there. And Mary and Joseph were there too. While they were there, baby Jesus was born. And Mary took him, wrapped him up, and laid him in the manger. That night there were some shepherds out in their fields watching over their flocks of sheep. And the angels came and talked to the shepherds and they were terribly afraid. But the angel said, do not be afraid. Then the angel left. When they had left, the shepherds went to find baby Jesus in the manger just as they had been told. And when they found him, they worshipped him. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, but they were terrified. 
But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning about what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Not far from Bethlehem, in a town called Jerusalem, there lived a king named Herod. Herod was an evil man who was not interested in sharing the power over his kingdom with anyone else. One day after the baby Jesus had been born, wise men came to Jerusalem from the east. They were looking for the newly born king of the Jews. They asked King Herod where this baby was, so the king asked his advisors. He asked, where is this king of the Jews to be born? King Herod replied in Bethlehem, go and find him and let me know where he is so I can come and worship him too. So the wise men went and found the baby Jesus by following his star, and when they found him, they worshiped him. But King Herod did not really want to worship baby Jesus. He wanted to harm him. The wise men were warned by God about this, so they went home a different way. When King Herod found out he had been tricked, he was really mad. He was determined to destroy the newborn king, so he sent soldiers to find the baby Jesus. But God warned Joseph in a dream to leave, and so they did. Mary, Joseph, and the little baby Jesus went to Egypt, and they stayed there until the evil king Herod died. After King Herod died, God told Joseph it was safe to come back. So Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus came back from Egypt to the little town of Nazareth.
And so now you've heard it all about how God sent his only son to be born as a baby so that he could save us all. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill to all. Wow, how fun it was to see all of our youth through video. It actually brought tears to our eyes as we were putting it together, just having a chance to see all of our youth again. We hope we get to see you soon in 2021. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 